Often a piece calls for what it wants. You know, I, I think as an artist, I'm trying to take that pose of letting a piece speak for itself. And I feel that way making images. I feel that way setting up shows. So we've done this show five times, and maybe eight or nine pieces we've done in all five places. Clearly, every situation is going to be different. For me, I'm trying to make sure that it works, not just on the most obvious level, but at all levels in terms of tonality and the way people pass through it. It's clear that he thinks a lot about the spaces that they're going into. A video in a space for him is a tangible sort of physical thing. It's not a fully transparent medium any more than painting is, that it has its own set of qualities that we have to deal with when we install and project it. With Peter's work especially, there was a lot to choose from and there's many, many different directions we could have gone with the exhibition layout. Um, Marie had all these amazing ideas about playing with the space. In each venue, it is an interpretation. The biggest change for me is the way the visitor is invited to go through the works. We have to develop for each piece what the artist thinks that this is the point, that this is the most important. He's really probing sort of the edges of what video art is and can do, but then also being very minimalist and just paring it down to his essential elements. The complexity you can reach with very simple equipment and in all the piece of Peter Campus, this is light and camera, a video projector, the adjustment of all this. For me, it was absolutely clear that this was a major, major approach in art, radically new. And someone at my age, looking back on my career, it's a nice way to see the pieces intermix. So with a wave, it's a bit like the room is designed for it. It's one of those things that's too easy. You know, it's like good students. The good student just absolutely has no need for you whatsoever. And a wave had no need for me whatsoever. It was just there. I mean, it just is encompassing. You can then walk over and look down on optical sockets, which is supposed to be talking about a pyramid shape, except the apex of the pyramid is imaginary, and I think you can look down and see people walking around in it. It's also very interesting. It's very obviously an interactive piece. It doesn't really exist until you get a person in, in the middle of the space and then they experience this almost sort of cubist dissociation. So when you're looking at yourself in the monitor, you're not seeing yourself, really. You're seeing this composite of four views. And as you move away from the center, you come apart as an image. It does relate really strongly to the work Convergence that's just a few yards away here. It's another four-channel work done at the other end of his career. I have always been interested of the connection between optical sockets and uh, convergence d'image vers le port. 
because in one, involving the viewer, it is a space to be performed and experimented by visitors. And the other room, Convergence, proposes also an environment in which the visitor does not change the image, does not affect the image, but what is important is that the exploration of the piece affects our own experience. When you don't have a fixed place, like in the cinema, you can move, you can adjust your perception, and you feel something very different, the matter of this uh, digital image. Interface is really interesting because it's such a simple concept, you know, it's just a metal frame with a piece of glass and then you can see yourself reflected in it. But it really is such an interesting experience to watch people interacting with it because they're, they're not used to confronting themselves. But with Peter's work, you really start investigating like, how is this put together? What are, you know, what's the height of this? Where's the camera? It takes time to experience each of these. You're always kind of questioning yourself in relation to the images that are formed. So there's things like that that he's, you know, built into the making of the work that are inherent to its meaning as well. Conceptually, you can describe, you can imagine, but experiencing is a really another way of understanding that you can't replace.